Welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about the biggest update that ChatGPT has seen and showing you proof that it is coming, what it will look like, how we can use it, etc, etc. So right now, one of the biggest limitations that I personally and also a lot of other people have with ChatGPT is the fact that they can only insert about 4,000 characters worth of information into the system prompt. Basically, over the to the system and the output, there is a combined total of 8,000 tokens. Now, that is not enough to do certain things, okay? But I saw this today while I was on Twitter. Uh, if you go on Google and type in OpenAI Community 32K, three days ago, there was this beautiful post that says, it looks like GPT-4 32K is rolling out. So just saw 32K pop up in Playground. Here is a quick Hello World API call. I'm going to scroll down here and look. Here it is. Here is my Playground. And this is a photo. This looks legit. Obviously, I've got no way to verify that whether this is legit or not. But they seem to have got it just a few days. Like This is probably one of the first people to actually get it to um, on the rollout. This was one of the first people to actually get it. This was three days ago. I got the GPT-4 API fairly early. So I am expecting to get the GPT-4 32K API also fairly early. Obviously, plugins, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. And a lot of people ask me how you can actually increase your chances of getting the GPT-4 API. Now, I do have a video coming on that. But what you need to do is you need to actually use the API. And I will have a video on that coming very, very soon because I've been using it, I've been experimenting it with it, etc. But for now, let's talk about what this is going to mean for the future of content writing, etc., etc. So right now, I have quite a big problem. And that big problem is that I like to include all of my internal links in the prompt. And I like ChatGPT to actually take that prompt and create long form content. However, the problem with this is if I just take all of this, these are this is my current prompt, okay? This is what I currently use to create content. That's why it's called iSuit Content Machine. If I put this into the system and we're going to say let's just give it a random title black tie attire for men and we put this on maximum length blah 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 and we say right the first half of this article. When I press submit, it's going to say this model's maximum context length is 8192. However, you requested 9155 tokens, 7107 in the messages, and 2048 in the completion. Right, so these are two very important numbers for me personally. Let's just get a new one of these. So these two numbers are super, super important. So 7107 in the system prompt and 2048 in the completion. This combined is higher than the amount of tokens which you're allowed to use, which is 8192. However, when this is increased to 32,000, this changes two things. It changes the amount of context you can give ChatGPT. Well, it changes three things, actually. It changes the amount of outputs you can get from the same context. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I reduce this to 769 and press submit, it will write the article, okay? But I always, because I want long-form SEO content, what I always make sure to do is write the first half of the article and then write the second half of the article, okay? The problem with that is when I press submit again, this number here, the, um, so at the moment the number is 769 plus uh, 7107. So this number is actually cumulative, okay? So it's currently at 8,100 pretty much. I'm doing the maths in my head. So the next time that I press submit, it will say that it cannot submit it because it's going over the maximum length. 
this is going to be huge for me personally. However, there is one drawback, and let's just see if we can find the drawback here. Okay, I can't seem to find the exact thing that I was reading earlier, but it I'm pretty sure, I don't know about this for a fact, but I'm pretty sure it said that it was double the price effectively. So uh, it was something like 0 0.06 for the system prompt and 0 0.12, that seems too high. Forget this. Anyway, it, it said it was higher, the costs are higher. So if you're using more tokens and the costs are higher, it will be more expensive. However, it is still significantly cheaper and sig or significantly quicker than either writing all of this content yourself or paying a professional to write it for you. When you pay a professional writer, they do about 1,000 words. It's probably about $50, okay? So this kind of thing that we're doing here, like this kind of work, let's actually go on my uh, costs. So let's go on usage, cumulative. So in April, I spent $61, and most of this is auto GPT, just wasting on auto GPT. In May, I've spent $30. Again, this is mainly auto GPT. If I go back to March before auto GPT was released, I think, you can see that the most I spent in a day was about $3, maybe $6. I think this $6 one was the day that I wrote um, like tons and tons and tons of articles in a day. I think I ended up writing 17 articles in a day. The price for an article using this is probably going to be about $1 to $2 maximum, which means it's 25 or 50 times cheaper than paying someone to do it for you and to be honest with you, the content is going to be as good, if not slightly worse. But the main thing is being able to put all of the context into the system prompt. This is something that I've been waiting for. This is something that I've been trying to work on in the background. So look, going back to what I said before, if I put this on, I don't know, 1000 and say submit, it cannot do it, okay? Because the maximum length is 8192 which has been really frustrating for me. And I've been working on embeds and things like that. But instead, what I'm now going to be doing is just waiting for them to give me access to the 32K bit model. If you're wondering, this prompt is absolutely insanely good at writing content um, that is already optimized for SEO. All I do at the end of uh, writing is I take it into a mark down to HTML um, converter, take the raw HTML, and you can see this is already an article which you can put into your CMS, Shopify, etc. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about um, my content making process, I do have an entire playlist. I get really scared going on my YouTube homepage. I watch some weird stuff. Um, and I would highly recommend this video here. It's called Do This to Get Your Chat GPT Articles to Rank Number One. It's only got 14,000 views. It's currently the best method that I have on writing content, but I do have an updated one coming very, very soon. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps, and I cannot wait to get this 32K model. Peace out.